So now, with this knowledge of job description, person specification, that will help you tailor your supporting statement, you are good to go. So I guarantee you that if you use these secrets or tips to apply while searching for a job, that in less than two weeks, you will land your, yourself a UK nursing job, okay? Hello, viewers. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Blessing Mosi Femo. And in this channel, I talk about everything nursing in the UK, a life in the UK, travel blog, and all that. You're welcome back to my channel. Please endeavor to like and subscribe, okay? So today, this morning, I want to talk about a very about an important topic. So I named it Secret to Landing a Nursing Job Offer in the UK. Or you can even call it uh, getting a getting a nursing job in the UK made easy. Okay. So uh, let's just dive into the matter straight away. All right, so like I said before in my previous video that in February 12th, around February 12th, uh, 2020, a new code of practice was updated in the UK. And that code of practice said that uh, recruiting nurses and doctors from Nigeria and 46 other countries is banned. Agencies, when I say recruiting is banned, Agencies are not to recruit from those countries any longer. Reason best known to them. If you want to know the reason, you will not hear it from me. Just go to your Google and then ask Google. You will see the reasons there, okay? So this has made it possible that me, myself, you, yourself, a nurse, a doctor, you need to search for a job yourself. I'm not, I don't know about doctors, but I think it bans nurses and doctors, which means doctors, you also have to look for work for, by yourself, right? Yeah. So let me talk about the nurses at Taina. Please let me not get into trouble. So for the nurses, you have to look for the job by yourself. Okay. Now, this is very distressing to some people because some people don't believe that from you from Niger from your country and from Nigeria. Sorry, that's why you hear me mention Nigeria a lot. But from our different countries that you can get a job. Now, there's nothing to worry about. I said in my last video that I even find it more challenging. I love when I see things that are challenging. I find it more challenging than, you know, I love things that challenges me. So I tackled it. And then in less than three weeks, I landed my, myself a job. Don't be deceived. You have to, you will get a lot, a lot of unfortunate messages telling you that, sorry, we can't recruit. Sorry, we are not recruiting. Sorry, this. But don't be, you know, don't be, you know, don't be discouraged okay you will still get yourself a job so today i'm here to give you some tips i used to land myself a job in the uk that even till now i still receive messages from from trust asking me to come for interview but i just tell them sorry i've already joined this trust maybe another time okay all right so you will land yourself a job to the extent that even when you land in the uk they will still be calling you all right okay so today uh, there are some people that have passed their IELTS, but because of fear of this, they passed their IELTS maybe beginning of this year, but because they told them that you have to look for a job by yourself, quite all right. They, they, they've been trying. They've been trying to look for the job by themselves, but each time they do, they, they don't receive a mail. That's, they don't reply them. They don't receive a, a response. So they, they gave up. Don't give up, okay? Now, let me tell you the secret. Let me leave the secrets here, okay? All right, so... Uh, first of all, where do we go to? We talk about where do we look for those jobs? Uh, we look for it. Everything I'm saying here will also be in my description box when I'm done, okay? In this video, you go to the description box, you will see everything. Because I'm going to mention a lot of things that I cannot read out, but I'll put it in my description box. Now, when you want to look for a job in the UK, you think of searching for jobs online, one is uh, um, my NHS jobs, nhsjobs.com, okay? Then, second one is track job. Then another one I use is Indeed job. There are a lot of them. There are a lot of sites that you can go for, uh, for, for uh, if you are seeking job in the UK. But these three I mentioned now, we are the three I can remember I used. So NHS job sometimes when you go to NHS job, NHS job will still link you back to track job. Or I don't know how they do it, but the two are intertwined, okay? Intertwined or whatever. So 
so when you get to the uh, the site NHS job or track job, you go to search job. You go to search job. When you go to search job, then you choose your key or your job preference. If you're a nurse, you click in adult nurse or just nurse. If you're a pharmacist, the same thing. If you're a medical doctor, the same thing. Don't go to look for. If you're a nurse, don't go to start looking for job for uh, uh, whatever. Uh, maybe physiotherapist. You understand? So. Then you put, there is, a, there is an icon asking you which location do you want the job. You can say the whole of England or you can say, you can put a postcode if you, if you have a special postcode, you want a, a place you want to go to, maybe not East or Mid, West, uh, West Midland, okay? So, but I think if you just put the whole of England, it increases your chances of landing a job. So you just move, okay? All right. So then also there is a space where they, they will ask you for minimum salary that you want. Of course, if you're a nurse, you're coming for a band five, uh, band five work, right? So it should be around 20 to 30, okay? I think that's what is there, all right? Minimum 20 per year, per, per annum, and then maximum 30 is within that scale. All right, so that's that for NHS job. So when you when you finish uh, filling all these boxes, you will see other boxes, in case I didn't mention it here, then you, you see the all the jobs will appear. Then you go for the one, label band five. Then you click on it. If you see anyone saying international recruitment, international uh, recruitment, tap on it and start the process of filling in your uh, answers. You understand? So, and um, then when, if you also go to track job, now when you get to track job, this is the secret I want to leave now, about what you write, about what you do when you get into that uh, box of track job, okay? There are some things they'll ask you. Of course, you will drop your CV, you drop your personal informations, and then there, there is something that the, the job is talking about. The, the job always asks you about job description, it will always say about job description and um, person specification and then supporting information. Now, let's take it one after the other. Your personal information, give your personal information, give the correct personal information. Just be careful. Then when you are done giving your personal information, then you talk about giving, uh, filling in or after filling in your personal details, you talk about your CV. In your CV, they're going to ask you a lot of things, something like your education and professional qualification. Now, all the education that you are take, you've taken that is relevant to this search, please be detailed. They want it. Yeah, be detailed. Give them any educational institution you have passed through, any qualification, professional qualification that is paramount, that is important in this search. Give it there. Drop it for them. They're okay? Then the training courses you've attended. All the training courses you've attended. Have you attended COVID training uh, courses? Write it there. ACLS, write it there. Uh, what uh, hygiene and the prevention of safety and all that. Infection, prevention, all those training that we used to go through. Put it, resource station, put it there. All the training courses. Especially those ones you have the SAT. There are some of the, those training we go in our different countries and then we have the SAT. Write it there. Do you have any volunteer work that you've done? Write it there. Then professional registration. You know what that means, okay? Your license for not if you're a nurse, for your license if you're a midwife, your license if you're in any specialty in nursing, okay? Then your employment history. Now, when you come to employment history, they want to know where you've worked. They want to know how versatile, what you've laid your hands on. Be careful this way, this, this place. When you give all your employment history, every place that you've worked, Make sure if there are machines, special machines that you've worked with, please put it there. I was so careful with this. When I listed all the machines I've, I've used, there were a lot, about 20, you know, or even more than, I can't remember anymore. You understand? So put all the machines that you've used during your course of work in those places. Put it on. You've used EC, ECG, ambulatory ECG, stress ECG, anyone, uh, nebulizer, put it there. If you've worked in the ICU and you've used all those boys' machine and whatever, I don't know what they call them. I think boys' machine is in the theater. Sorry for the anesthetics. So put just put it there, okay? <laughs> all right. Then your employment history, put it there. When you come to the employment history, there, I think there's a place where you need to write your roles and responsibilities. 
I will drop a sample of what I use as my roles and uh, responsibility in the description box. Please go there, use it, and then form your own roles and responsibility. I'm a nest midwife, so when I, I work as a, as a registered nurse, and I also work as a midwife, so each hospital I, I, I list as one of my employment history, I list all my roles and responsibilities there because my role as a midwife is different from my role as a general nurse, okay? So you get the idea of what I'm saying. They want to see it. You know it. They want to they want to see it, you know? They want to see you write it and make sure that you know it. Be truthful, okay? Now, that is it. That's your CV, okay? Then you go on to ask to fill in some questions they will ask you. But first of all, when you click on this uh, institution that you want you are applying now, and then they, they will show you band 5 the job description, what what the job is all about, okay? They will tell you whether it's inpatient or district nurse or this or this. Now, you need to read the job description. You can't just go applying for a job without looking for what, what are they looking for. Like, you just said, oh, they're looking for a nurse and you just run. Nurse for what? What if they say nurse that they want to be cutting their fingers? <laughs> And it's something that you can do. So you have to first of all. The reason why people fail is because they don't go to read what the what the job description is all about, and then the person specification. As in, you understand the English person specification. Who they are looking for? What values and uh, what qualities they are looking for? Now, with the knowledge of these two, your JD that is job description and S uh, PS person specification. You can now formulate your supporting information. Come on, you, you're not lying. You're a general nurse. You've worked all these things. It's just for you to know what they're looking for. And then with the experience you have, formulate that you've done this and then give them, which I know you can prove because you're a general nurse. A general nurse, you know what we mean? General. General. So that's what I'm talking about. Supporting statement. Now, um, I have a sample of what a supporting statement should look like, which I'll also put in my description box. You look it up, use it, and formulate your own. Someone even said, a friend of mine said that even in the uh, in her supporting statement, she also put volunteer works. Oh, no, sorry. She put examples of uh, some things that she was talking about in her description box. So is that is an avenue for you to say if you say that you do you've done this, you've done this, you did this, maybe you how how you control an emergency, how you calm down. You say for example, maybe you are talking about that's fair and all that is just for example in this in this look at what I did. They love it. They love it. Alright, so this is what I wanted to tell you. I think I've made a lot of sense, okay? But that that's not all. So so when you must have done this, you, you've increased your chances of getting a job. Now, you have to, for you to get a job, how, how, many, how many job applications do you make in a day? At least you make up to 10. I want to be realistic. Sometimes you get to 5 and you are tired. In fact, before 5, you are tired. But if you can be able to make up to 10 in a day, if you see, continue making job applications every day. Because some days... Ten of them may come back unfortunate. Sorry, unfortunately, we cannot recruit you. This, 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 and you will cry. Don't feel demoralized. Stand up, dust yourself, continue. Okay, one day, forty. Now you go there, cry yourself. <laughs> You'll be the one crying. Please, who do I choose? Who do I choose? Who do I choose? Me, I, I like to narrow my perspective. You know, I, I like to narrow my choices. So I don't like too much people disturbing me. So immediately they started coming on my on my hair was a back to black. Just choose one and all that. Okay, all right. So I've said it. Make many applications as possible. Okay, yeah, and then. Mm, no 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 number no no quantity is too much don't say it's too much now no just continue okay and then then join a group there are a lot of groups we have people of the same interest are there they are searching for job you should join them and see what is happening sometimes your savior it will not come from the job that you applied online on nhs job and track job your savior will be when someone want when someone uh, shared uh email of of someone like maybe i'm i'm in a position now where i've gotten a job and then i need to a trust that i applied many months ago will mail me if i'm still interested for an interview that they're looking for this and then someone will just say please i've gotten a job if you're interested that's one of our savior you if you if you send a message to that email 
they will call you for an interview. Okay? What have I been saying since? This is the secret to land yourself an interview and then a job, okay? Is interview before a job, okay? All right. So, another thing I wanted to tell you before I, I forget is when you open a page, a trust that you want to apply, look very well, especially in the NHS job, okay? There is always a place where they put email. Not all the trust calls, comes with email. You see the email. It's a secret. I don't want to say it so that nobody will hear it. Copy that email and then write to them, asking them to give you a chance to take interview. Don't worry, they won't say you are bothering them. You're not bothering them. They are, they are there for you. They need you. Okay? Write to them. Present your evidence that I have passed this, I have passed this, I have passed this. Could you please at least give me a chance for an interview? Okay? You'll be, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. So, I think I've exhausted everything I have. Have I? Okay, and I also say you should join a group. I think I've exhausted uh, my secrets. <laughs> okay. So, this is what you should do to land yourself a job. I think I've exhausted my points. But at least I made a point, right? So, you go. I want to hear testimonies, please. If you get a job, just come to my YouTube and say, Oh, blessing, thank you. Oh, this, thank you. Then all the promises I made, I'll be putting them in my uh, description box. Please go there and search for it and see what you want, okay? I'll see you next time, okay? And then refer my YouTube to your friend. Ask them to come and watch my YouTube channel. I'll be dropping a lot of information to help you along while you prepare for your immigration, okay? Thank you very much. See you another day. Bye.